Today marks 82 years since the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, which brought the U.S. into World War II. Today, the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs commemorated the attack with a ceremony in Springfield. Illinois Capitol Bureau Chief Max Cotton was there. A date which will live in infamy 82 years later. People gathered at the Elks Lodge in Springfield to honor those who died in and survived the attack on Pearl Harbor. If you had freedom yesterday, and if you and I have it today, and we expect it tomorrow, that freedom is tied to the sacrifices of December 7th, 1941. Lynn Schindel was one of those enjoying freedom at Thursday's ceremony. He has a special connection to the attack. His dad survived it. He was at Hickam Field. He was Army Air Corps cook. Located next to Pearl Harbor, Schindel says his father told him he knew more than 30 people who died that day. It's why he thinks ceremonies such as Thursdays are so important, so future generations will remember the sacrifice. If we don't keep it alive, who is? 20 years ago, every week I was invited to a school from November to the first part of December. I was always invited to go to schools. Terry Prince, the head of Illinois' Department of Veterans Affairs, agrees. If we don't make an effort to keep their memory alive, they'll be forgotten. It is a date that will live in infamy for many, but as the years go on, we have to continue to tell that story to make sure that people know what happened that day. Because life is moving so fast, a day which will live in infamy could be put in a diff bunch of different occasions, but Pearl Harbor was indeed the day. And as life continues moving, it's important we not only remember that infamous day, but honor it for another 82 years and beyond. In Springfield, Max Cotton, WGEM News.